All right, everybody, it has been at least a week since Eli and I updated on our top 10 beginner fish list. Today we are at number six. It is the yellow watchman goby. Most people, when they think symbiotic relationships in a fish tank, they think clownfish and anemones. The yellow watchman goby has a cool relationship with the pistol shrimp. It's a very cool combination to have in a beginner tank because they're both very easy to take care of. Here's Eli with some more details, and we will try not to make it six months next time. Thanks for the intro, Ernie, and thank you guys for tuning in to number six on our beginner fish series. We apologize again that it's been a little while since the last one. Number six on our list happens to be this beautiful little yellow watchman goby here. Being a little shy at the moment, but there's a small one in this tank by the side of me here. They're a really cool, personable, smaller fish that are appropriate for just about any beginner tank. They really don't get very large. Biggest I've seen is about three inches or so, so they're pretty appropriate for small, maybe 20, 30 gallon aquariums, and they are very hardy fish at that. So generally once your tank is up and running, cycled well, and the water chemistry is pretty stable, you should be ready to go with one of these fish. Like Ernie mentioned as well, they have a really interesting symbiotic relationship with pistol shrimps. So Watchman gobies tend to burrow a little bit. They will kind of stake claim to a little cave on the underside of a rock. And the pistol shrimp has very similar characteristics where it likes to live underneath rock work as well. Usually, if you were to add both of these to an aquarium, the pistol shrimp is going to be basically the excavator for the goby, and he will dig tunnel systems underneath your rock work in the aquarium which the goby usually guards, keeps a, a close eye on the rest of the tank and makes sure that the tunnel is safe while the shrimp makes these cool little burrows underneath the aquarium. So it's just a fun little relationship to see these guys work side by side with the shrimp digging holes and the goby watching over them. That being said, these guys generally do stick to the bottom half of the aquarium. Most of the time they are going to be perched right on the sand bed. They do dig a little bit, but unlike some of your sand sifting gobies, they don't really move very much sand and they're usually going to stick right underneath the rock work. As their name suggests, they are usually a bright, vibrant yellow color with some beautiful blue spots down the side, but their coloration can vary a little bit. Sometimes you see individuals that are a little closer to gray or some that are a little paler yellow, but it can come down to diet. If you're feeding a really good quality food, feeding decent pellets and a decent variety of frozen foods, generally this guy is gonna be bright yellow in your aquarium as well. Max size for this fish, again, is probably only about three inches or so, so you can usually get away with them in any of your smaller reef tanks or saltwater tanks for that matter. Doesn't necessarily have to be a reef, but they are reef safe. They don't tend to mess with just about anything else. Pretty shy, reclusive fish that will usually stick just to one spot or a couple small spots in the aquarium. One thing worth mentioning with the gobies, this counts for just about any goby, is they are kind of prone to jumping. Sometimes your gobies are a little bit more skittish than some of your other fish. And seeing as they only perch on the bottom half of the aquarium, if they do get spooked, their natural instinct is to swim straight upwards. And generally, if you don't have a lid, that would end up with this guy jumping out onto the floor. So definitely worth making sure you have a decent tight fitting lid above the aquarium, just in case one of these guys is going to get spooked, he doesn't end up jumping out of the tank. Diet for these guys is pretty simple. They usually eat just about any frozen food, mysis, brine shrimp, spirulina, mega marine, and they are also pretty trainable to eat prepared foods such as pellets or a high quality flake. So they're generally not too picky in that regard. And lifespan for these little guys, as much as they are a smaller fish, I would expect for them to live three, maybe five years in your aquarium, possibly even longer. They definitely do have a decent lifespan if they're taken care of properly. And they're just a fun little fish to add some activity to the bottom half of the tank, especially in a smaller aquarium. For more information about the symbiotic relationship between the Watchman gobies and pistol shrimp, we did do a video a few months back on that relationship. So might be worth taking a look at. It's a pretty neat thing to watch. But otherwise, the yellow Watchman goby makes a really good smaller beginner fish that's appropriate for a lot of your small tanks and a very hardy beginner fish at that. So yellow Watchman goby is a great addition to just about any aquarium. As always, thank you guys for tuning in to number six on our beginner saltwater fish series. I hope you guys enjoyed learning a little bit about the yellow watchman goby. And as always, feel free to leave comments, suggestions for future videos in the comment section below and keep on reefing.